Calm down, Alfredo. How do you have so much DPS, Alfredo? How do you have so much? <laughs> What's up guys, Alfredo here with a YouTube video that you guys have been wanting me to make for a very long time. Here's a really large in-depth overlook at my build. Now this is a primarily PvP build, but it does very well in PvE and its focus is true damage and um, just crit damage. And so you're not going to see a lot of fluff with this build. You're going to see just a lot of real damage outputs. So you're not going to see the flashy over 200k primary DPS, but we're going to be doing a lot of true damage. Um, and we're going to be able to tank a little bit of that damage too. So right now, off the bat, what we're looking at is 191,000 DPS, 80,000 health, 11,000 skill power. Now... What does that really mean? Well, let's just jump over to our, let's say, weapons. So crit hit chance, we have 50% out of 60, 60 being the cap. Now, do you remember that pulsing does increase your critical hit chance? And you can, if you're at the 60% cap, go over it with pulse as well. Crit hit damage is going to be at 156. Headshot damage is going to be at 111 percent now if we go down make our way down here survivability this is huge guys this is very very huge a lot of you guys have a lot of health but no armor and that doesn't mean anything all the health means nothing if you don't protect it with some armor so 65 percent is the cap for armor i'm sitting at well 65 percent mitigates is the cap and i'm sitting at 60 percent so this is still a build in progress ultimately we're going to get this up to 65 percent i just got to roll some gear mod slots but Jumping over to the perks. Remember, this is a primarily PvP build for me, but it does work very well in PvE. I've got Pulse with Tactical Scanner. This is going to allow me to uh, increase my damage when attacking hostiles. We've also got uh, First Aid with Booster Shot. This is going to increase my damage, allow me to take some damage resistance as well. So this, these two like together just does very, very well. And of course, Survivor Link, which increases my damage resistance and speed. Survivor Link is just, is just so powerful in PvP fights. Once you pop this thing, you're pretty much invincible for the duration of, of the Survivor Link. As opposed to Talents, I went with On The Move, kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 30% for 10 seconds. It's very, very nice. Precision, so headshot a hostile to pulse them for 10 seconds. It's very important because we do a lot of uh, pulse crit damage. One is none. Headshot a hostile to have a 50% chance of not consuming the bullet. So this allows us essentially to have more um, bullets than, than we really can have in a magazine. And um, lastly, this is kind of like... A choice that I will leave up to you. Battle Buddy is really good. Revive a downed agent to reduce incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds for both players. Not bad. Um, but I chose to go with Critical Save. Use a med kit during low health to increase damage resistance by 40% for 10 seconds. Med kits in my PvP fights are definitely like my last resort. I'll pop this. I gain that damage resistance for hot 10 seconds. At that point, I'm hoping my skill cooldowns um come in hot and then i can just re um reuse that pulse and that booster shot so now that we've got talents and skills out of the way now that we've taken a look at our character how did i get here what do i have equipped what's what's making this build look like what it's looking like right now um let's start off with one of the most important things um your weapons so Honestly, a lot of you guys like the Vector. The Vector is very great, but I would suggest graduating to a Navy MP5 or AUG. Both are really, really good weapons. You're going to get um, more bullets in the magazine. Uh, sometimes you'll get the higher RPMs and whatnot. But let me just go ahead and show you guys. Between, between Honestly, between the AUG and the Navy MP5, I would say just whatever you have the best perks on. It is, it is said that the AUG scales better with 2600 and above firearms. Um, I honestly switch between the two. I, I do love both weapons very, very much. It just kind of at that point, it's just what I'm feeling because I don't have the best roles on like my AUG or the most. I mean, I have some pretty beastly roles on my MP5, but I don't have like the most over the top roles on my MP5. You have competent, deadly, and ferocious on this AUG. And 
Um, what I'm usually rolling with is my Navy MP5. So we got 24.5 critical hit chance, 9.1 K damage, 800 RPM, 63 in the mag. We're looking at Bruto. Headshot damage is increased by 24% when using this weapon. Destructive armor uh, destruction value is increased by 18%. Armor destruction value is increased by 18% when using this weapon. This, this helps when it comes to PVE a lot. Um, I do see a noticeable difference in me melting the NPC's armor, which is very nice. And then we have fierce critical hit chances increased by 8% when using this weapon. Very, very good weapon to use. Um, very, very solid rolls on that one. So if we're looking at scopes, we got headshot damage and accuracy. As much as possible, I try to stay away from accuracy, stability, all that kind of stuff. That's just fluff damage. We want stuff that does actual real damage. So where, like places where I can, I, I substitute all the accuracy and stability for actual damage, crit hit chance, whatnot. But remember, this is still a build in progress, so nothing's, it's not all perfect. There's still some changes that need to be made. So headshot damage and accuracy there. We've got accuracy and crit hit damage on that muzzle. Um, our under barrel, we've got stability and accuracy. I do not believe that you can roll any type of like damage or crit damage and crit chance or anything like that with an angle grip or just an under barrel in general. Extended magazine, the most important part of your like buy a <laughs> honestly if you guys are going for a dps crit damage anything like that get an smg vector is a good starting point because it does not cost division tech to craft mp5 and og do and secondly go get that extended mag the extended mag is huge it, this alone gives me 50k dps alone 50k dps um so we're looking at 99 percent magazine size and 32 percent critical hit damage from time to time i do switch that out with rate of fire if i just want to just bullet holes the opposing team it really depends. Sometimes I get bored with the build, and so I switch things around. So that is the MP5 with the attachments to as well. So I'm very, very happy with this MP5. It only took me about, I'd say, less than 10 rolls to get this. So very lucky there. Um, a lot of you guys ask about my uh, sniper rifle. It's M44. It's not an M1. I wish it was. It's got unforgiving, skilled, and harmful on it. So not too shabby now for talking about gear uh, one of the most important things to get in terms of gear i'd say start off with honestly a vest with reckless increased damage by 13 percent increased incoming damage by 10 percent so as as everyone knows right now uh, reckless is kind of broken you don't get the second half of that you don't get the increased incoming damage some people even argue that you do get uh, an increased damage resistance on top of that so as of right now reckless is broken grab it you don't get the negative side effects to this um i'm just going to go over some of the important stuff uh health on kill this does help me sustain a little bit of health right there i got armor ammo capacity smart cover damage resilience again this is not um a perfect perfect build for me yet um, you're going to see a lot of my mods. A lot of my mods are going to be um, armor and a variety of things. Ideally, every single mod that I have slotted in is going to be armor because I want to get my mitigate at that cap, which is 65. We're at 60 right now. So um, honestly, guys, get them armor mods. It's very, very important. You can increase a lot of things <laughs> with armor mods moving on to mass rehabilitated this is also a talent that seems to be broken heals two percent every second during status effects honestly um all you gotta do is just pop a smoke grenade or a flashbang or just pop a flashbang at your feet um that'll activate activate rehabilitated you'll keep just continuously healing every two seconds uh you can just keep healing uh two percent every second and that won't stop until you die or are downed and killed um, increase XP, pulse critical hit damage. We've got a stamina with crit hit chance, stamina with crit hit chance on that as well. On this one, we've got stamina with armor. I didn't want my health to drop below 80%, so you're going to see my health stay up there. Um, otherwise, I'd dump a lot of that into armor. So knee pads, we got uh, talents. To me, there's nothing too big, but I have accomplished on mines. Critical hit damage, which is important. And then we have scavenging too. You can go scavenging your XP. I like scavenging right now because I'm like level 83 in the DZ. Post critical hit damage, that's important to my build. And then we have a firearm mod with armor. You can get up to three mod slots on a stamina vest. I'm not sure if you can get that on other vests, but um, so if you do want extra mod slots on that vest, which ideally I would get at least two, then go ahead and try and roll for that. So moving on to the backpack, we've got technical. This helps me, um, with my lower skill power. 
If you have critical hit damage, any word possible, I can get critical hit chance, critical hit damage. I roll for that shit because it's very important and it's going to go ahead and help increase our true damage and uh, we're really going to be hitting hard. Uh, ammo capacity because I don't like running out of ammo. Turret health, mobile cover damage is just uh, re resilient. So like I said, not perfect rolls on everything yet. Um, we do have a stamina with armor mod. And then I would say, so chest is important, mass is important, and then gloves. Those are the three, like... First things first, go get those guys because they have really, really awesome talents on them. I have Cunning on mine. I would suggest getting a different talent, to be honest. You can get, um, what do you can, what is it, what is it, what, hold on. You can get Savage. That, to me, is the best um, talent you can get on gloves. Your critical hit chance is increased by 13% uh, against targets out of cover. Very, very nice here, guys. Very, very nice. Anyways, gloves are going to be huge for crit, um, for just damage builds in general because you can get crit hit chance, crit hit damage, SMD damage, SMG damage, and then pulse critical hit damage. So, like, honestly, just awesome rolls. Everything there just helps with a damage build. Now, a lot of you guys are like, well, Fredo, what if I want, instead of SMD damage, I want, like, weapon damage. It's up to you. I use my SMG literally 95% of the time. So, for me, it makes more sense to go with SMG. Um, and then lastly, we're looking at our holster. I've got steadfast health regeneration kicks in twice as fast while in cover. Um, and then we've got pulse critical hit damage, and then we've got a stamina mod with armor. You cannot get a mod slot on gloves, unfortunately. So guys, this is going to be my build, man. It does very well in the DZ. I'm very happy with this, the way it's looking so far. Um, things I do want to go from here on out. I do want to hit that. Mitigate cap is 65%, so we only have 5% more to go. All we have to do is switch out what mods that we don't have armor on for ones that we do. Still rolling for that. I'd like to get my health up to maybe like 85, 90, tank a little bit more. I'm going to try and lower down my DPS uh, without losing like too much damage. And I've so far, successfully been able to do that. And i got to say, guys, the most important thing is that just don't worry about your DPS, man. That's just, it's so fluffed by so many people who would stack accuracy and whatnot. Like, don't even worry. Like, I could have 240,000 DPS if I switch some shit around, but you know what? I'm not doing as much damage. So, don't get too caught up on what your DPS looks like. Um, even health sometimes, guys. You just want to make sure that... I don't know why that looks like the game sometimes. You know what I'm saying? The game sometimes just looks weird. Oh, oh my sniper rifle's out. Here we go. There you go. So you just want to make sure you got, you know, you got high crit hit chance. I would say 50% 50, 50 and above. Crit hit damage, I'd let you, I'd say honestly 150% and above. Headshot damage, you know, get that as high as you can. Um, also, most importantly, man, dude, a lot of you guys, you, tanks, non-tanks, whatever, get that armor up. It's important. It's very, very important. You'll be able to take a lot more damage. Um, that's that, dudes. This does very well for me in PvE. It does very well for me in PvP. And, yeah, I'm very, very proud of it. I will be making some more tweaks. Eventually, I'd like to get a um, a tank build out and a skill power build as well. But you guys know how it is to get really good rolls. It took me weeks to get where I'm at right now with this damage build, this damage PvP build. So... It'll be a while, um, but I like to work on a tank one with a lot of sustain. So we got, you know, that would look like a lot of health, a lot of health on kill. Um, if you guys are going for PVE mostly for incursions, get, you know, get that armor penetration in and whatnot. But yeah, dudes, that's going to do it here today. That's an in-depth look at my build. This is a PVP damage focused build. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to tweet at me at the Alfredo place. I'll answer everything you guys throw at me and also you guys can catch me every night on twitch at 7 p.m pacific standard time we stream all the time i show you we we tweak the build live and then on top of that we we run out and as as the missus says we hand out the d in the dark zone so guys thank you for joining me and later wait, wait come, here, come here come here come here come here the guy's right here i have him it's literally right here I'm shooting him. He's putting shots at me. We're just shooting oh, each other. Dear, he's so bad. Like, he's really, really bad. Alfredo, he just I got the drop it. on me, that's all. Seriously. That's fine, it's fine. How do you have so much boots in that fucking gun?